In this section, we're going to learn how to organize a project. Projects in our studio are a way to group together all the files that you need for one project. So most projects include files like scripts, data files, images, or output files like the PDF version of the script. We're going to create a project for this class. So go to the file menu in our studio and down to new project. We're going to start a project in a new directory and just choose new project. This gives you the basic empty type of project. Now check where you're going to create the project as a subdirectory of. Make sure that this is somewhere that you have access to. Um, if you're on the network, then your own part of the network drive. We're going to give the directory name the class name, so data skills, and then create our data skills project. Our studio will then switch you to this project. You can tell what project you're in in the title bar of our studio. Now it says data skills. You can also see that the, in the files pane, it's changed. It's taken us to the data skills project folder. You might see a .rproj.user directory. You might not be able to see files that start with a dot. Those might be invisible um, on your computer. And data skills.rproj. Don't worry about these files. They just kind of organize your project, and we might use them later, but not right now. You won't need to open them. Now, in your project, you can create files. Let's click on this at the top of console to open up your source pane, and we can start a new R script. So in our R script, we can just say, assign a few variables, x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals x plus y. We could select all of that and run it, and we see the values up in the environment pane. And now you can also save this. This R script, it should save by default into your data skills directory. We'll call this one test, test.r, and save it. You should see it come up here in the files pane. And if we close it here in the source pane and get rid of all of the values from our environment, we can also reload it from the files pane. And here we have that script again. You can select everything and run it to reset your environment to where it was at the end of that script. In the next section, we'll learn how to create another type of file, an R markdown file.